Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today's research topic is a comparative assessment of the effectiveness of constitutional medicine with Asplus hippocampus in the treatment of hemorrhoids. This particular study was done by Dr. Sylvia Sundar Raj under the guidance of Dr. Renuka S. Patil at Government Homeopathic Medical College, Bangalore. This was done as a dissertational work where they have aimed to study how constitution is able to help in the treatment of hemorrhoids as well as how Asclus hippocampus is able to help in the treatment of hemorrhoids and also in comparison between these two areas. For this particular study, initially they have taken ethical committee clearance from the institutional ethical committee followed by informed consent form was obtained from the volunteers before the initiation of the study. For the study, around 60 cases were selected. In those 60 cases, using purposive sampling method, they were categorized into two groups where the first group fell for the constitutional treatment and the second group was Asclus hippocampus group. So here, the potency, uh, repetition of the dose, all these things were not constant, were made according to the necessity of each case. A total of around 60 cases were taken into this particular study. These 60 cases were then categorized into two groups. One is constitutional group, another is Asclus group. The grouping was done according to the purposive sampling. The cases were assessed based on two scales. One is VAS pain scale and another is a BDA scale, which is a scale for bleeding, discharge and itching. So based on these two scales, the assessment were made. The, the study continued for a whole span of 18 months where each patient were followed every 15 days once for the first three months and for the next three months that is from the fourth month to the sixth month they were followed up for every week. The inclusion criteria used in this particular study is the cases between the age group of 20 to 60 were taken into consideration both male and female were taken and both internal and external hemorrhoids were taken into consideration. Uh, the exclusion criteria were fissures, fistula or strangulation um, ulcerations or such complications were avoided as well as grade 4 hemorrhoids were not taken into consideration. The outcome was categorized into three categories. One is totally recovered where the score of both VAS scale and BDA scale were zero. In the cases where 1 to 2 in the VAS scale or 1 to 3 score in the BDA scale were occurred, it was considered as the patient have improved but not recovered. The scale with uh, scoring above this was considered to be not improved. This was the outcome criteria that they have used to assess the improvement after the treatment. Yeah. Among the constitutional remedy group, nitric acid, lacassis and naxomica, these three medicines were recurrent. Other constitutions were on and off. One or two patients only got that particular remedy. Uh, all the remedies were prescribed only in the 200 potency in the constitutional group. When you consider the Asclus group, uh, the potencies varied from 30 to 1 m, where 3 cases got 30th potency, 23 cases got uh, 200 potency and uh, 4 cases got 1 m potency. So this way the potency was distributed among the Asclus group. If you see the result, in the constitutional group, 3 cases totally recovered. 7 cases showed partial improvement, but rest 20 cases did not show any improvement. In case of Asclus group, 10 cases completely recovered, 18 cases showed partial improvement and 2 cases did not show any improvement. For statistical analysis, uh, to understand between the group, like uh, VAS pain scale before and after comparison, BDI scale before and after comparison, they have used parity test and uh, for understanding between the groups, that is uh, to understand between the group constitution and asculus, they have used unparity test. In regard to the VAS scale, constitutional group, the mean value for the before treatment was 4.43 and after treatment was 2.87. For Asclus group, before treatment was 7.26 and after treatment was 1.199. In BDA scale, constitutional remedy had a mean score of before 8 and after 4.16. In Asclus group, before was 8 and after was 2.23. Using unpaired T test, when constitutional group was compared with the Asclus group, the conclusion which was understood was Asclus was able to help the recovery of the patients better compared to the constitutional group. Therefore, the conclusion, overall conclusion of this particular work is 
both are able to help the patients both ascularis as well as the constitution is able to help but ascularis has a upper hand in helping in the recovery of the hemorrhoid cases so this is the understanding hope this particular work was useful for you see you again with a, another interesting research take care